Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Amphibia intro. This is a very, very catchy theme, okay? Give you a preview of the main theme that you're going to learn today. It goes like this, check that. So it goes. Get right into it. So pretty catchy stuff. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna break it up into parts to learn it. So let me see. One, two, three, four. About four parts. All right. So here we go. The first part goes like this. Right hand starts on the B flat here. Middle C's here for reference. We go to the B flat. This goes B flat down to G down to D up to G up to B flat G E flat E flat G B flat. And that's the first part for the right hand. Okay, one more time for this right hand for the first part. So it goes B flat, G, D, G, B flat, G, E flat, E flat, G, B flat. Yeah, some of you guys might like hear the first few notes and think it's like gravity falls or something, but there are some motives that are similar there. It's like da da da, like da 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 da. Yeah, it does sound a bit like it. But anyways, let's do it one more time. So just to confirm it, so B flat, G, D, G, B flat, G, E flat, E flat, G, B flat, like that. And that's the right hand. Okay, anyways, that's the right hand. Once you get that left hand, two chords here, the two chords are G minor, which is G, B flat, D. Second chord is E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so G minor followed by E flat major. The two hands together goes like this, B flat and G minor together. So together, B flat and E flat major together. Like that. Okay, if you don't want to clash with the chords, you can play an octave lower like this. So together, together, like that. Okay, now moving on to the second part, right hand goes up to the D, down to F, up to B flat, up to D, C, and then down an octave to lower C, up to F, A, up to C, down to D, up to F sharp, A. Okay, so this second part is harder because it's quite dense with all the runs. So let's do it one more time. So it goes like this, like D, down to F, B flat, up to D, C, lower C, up to F, A, C, down to lower D, F sharp, A, like that. And it's pretty fast as well. So it's like dun, 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 like that. And that's the right hand. Once you get the right hand there, left hand we have two chords here. The two chords are B flat major, which is B flat, D, F. Second chord F major, which is F, A, C. Fully white note chord, okay? So one more time, so B flat major and F major. With those two chords in mind, two hands together, goes like this, a D and B flat major together, so it's together, C and F major together, and then right hand continues, like that, okay, so yeah, just like that, so if you want to clash, you can play the F major down here, okay, the lower one, you can be like, like that, okay, so just like that, like that, okay, so that's that. Okay, once you get that, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out, so. Okay, so yeah, there's optional passing chords you can do. You can like do a D major if you want, D, F sharp, A. From the uh, part where it goes. Da, 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 da. So it's like, it gives that D7 kind of tonality. So it's like. Optional D major chord, so you can be like, uh, let me see, yeah, like this, like that. Optional D major. Okay, I didn't do it in the preview, but it's optional. It does sound a bit like it's meant to have a D major tonality here. So it's up to you. Okay, you can put that extra D major chord with the left hand, or you can leave it out like this, like this, like that. Okay. Anyways, yeah, it does sound a bit better with the D major actually. So it's like, so it's like. Da, 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 da. Do that okay but anyways yeah so let's go ahead and now move on the third part is actually exactly the same as the first part so we don't have to do much just goes like this like that simple stuff okay so exactly the same as the first part so remember third part same as the first part so back to back all three parts we've learnt will be played like this i'll include that also optional d major chord as well so it sounds better so it goes like this Got to ahead of us and we actually played the fourth part as well okay so here we go let's learn the fourth part right now 
So, fourth part goes like this. It's pretty much exactly the same. So it goes. Uh, so, let me see. Okay, yep. So it goes up to D and B flat major. So it's together. Same. And then now it changes right and goes D, E flat, D, C. And then it restarts all over back to the first part. So, yeah, one more time for this fourth part. So the fourth part is pretty much the same as the second part. So here is the same. And then it doesn't do the next thing. It just goes right hand. The F major held goes D, E flat, D, C. So remember that. So that's the fourth part. Okay, you can see some similarities to the second part. It's important to learn these patterns because it allows you to learn stuff a lot quicker by understanding what's the same and what's not. So, like this, so it's and then D, E flat, D, C, like that. And that's it for the fourth part. So, back to back, all four parts will be played like this. Check it out. So it goes. Yeah, so practice the left hand jumps. Sometimes it's easy to slip off. Like I did it uh, slips like a few times within this because like yeah the jumps the chords there are like a combination of chords where like the G minor is this and then the E flat major is like a black note and a white note and a black note so sometimes it's hard to press and the same for the B flat major can be hard to press it's only a black note at the bottom and then the F major is the easiest to press since it's just all white notes okay so the easiest is G minor and F major all the other ones can be like easy to kind of slip into like a different chord like that okay so make sure you just practice those jumps yeah just like that okay and also that extra D major chord as well so practice it like this. Breeze. All right, so pretty awesome stuff. So I hope you enjoyed learning this. So um, maybe you can like combine it with it. You'll be like. like gravity force. Okay, yeah, have a lot of fun with it, I guess. So uh, I taught the gravity force theme as well, so you can actually learn it for yourself as well, and you can see some similarities with it. Okay, but pretty awesome stuff. Hope you enjoy this. Check out the rest of my channel for other step-by-step -step tutorials like this that are literally multiple thousands of them for you to enjoy and learn from. Check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other stuff, okay? But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Enjoy your time around my channel, and see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website bestpianomethod.com for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.